LDBC. This is your boy Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Boxing and MMA Show Live. Okay, this is a message to you, Joe Smith, and this is a message to anybody, to anybody that's sitting back, anybody that's sitting back and you wonder, you know, can things happen for you? Well, I'm going to tell you something. This man right here on the screen, he believed, okay? This man believed that things could happen for him. He believed that. You see, let me tell you something, okay? Joe Smith Jr., okay? You know, Bernard Hopkins really insulted this guy. Called him a common man. That's what Bernard Hopkins called him, a common man. Well, well B-Hop, a common man went in there and he beat the dog piss out of you. That's just how it is. You see, there's a Joe Smith Jr. Maybe even you listening to this video, you might be a fighter. You might be a Joe Smith Jr., but people just don't know who you are. You see, there's a Joe Smith Jr. in every gym. See, somebody, everybody can be beat. I don't care who you are. And there's a Joe Smith Jr. In, in a gym right now who nobody knows about. Don't nobody know one thing about this person. But he's in the gym and he's working. He's working and working and working hard to be the best. And he got that hard. Don't know Joe Smith Jr. don't have a lot of skill set. But I did notice something about Joe Smith Jr. Joe Smith Jr. got heart, okay? He got a lot of heart. And Joe Smith Jr. has the I don't give a damn attitude, okay? He don't. He got that I don't give a damn attitude. And that, my friends, that's the best attitude to have. Joe don't care. See, everything is irrelevant to Joe Smith Jr. Because Joe is content going back to the construction site. He content. This man don't this man don't have that lifestyle. This man is happy where he is and what he has in life. And I can get behind a guy like Joe Smith Jr. I can. I can get behind him because the guy humble. He very humble, but he quietly goes in and assassinates these dudes. Against the Fun Farm fight, you know, he was the underdog. Everybody picked him to lose the fight. He won, knocked him out. In this fight, you know, and it's kind of comical that people were picking him to be an underdog against a 50-year-old man. And I'm not saying that B-Hop is not, you know, won't be a legend, won't be a, he is, he a Hall of Famer, okay? He a Hall of Famer. But, I mean, you know, just looking at Joe Smith Jr., looking at what he brings, okay? You know, people, some people want to call him the modern-day Rocky. They want to call him all this other stuff. But, really, Joe Smith Jr., he got, a, he got an average name. He's just a random, he's a normal guy. This is the kind of guy you can hang out with. You know, you go somewhere, you know, you have a couple of drinks. You have the coach drink, but the coach don't drink. But I'm saying, though, he's a guy you can kick back, you can watch sports with. This is the kind of guy that Joe Smith Jr. is. And I hope that Joe Smith Jr. stays a man of the people. I hope that's what, because people are, are attached to him. Like, I'm actually liking the personality, liking the fighter that he's going to become. And this man believes that he's good. He believes it. He don't believe that he's just a construction worker. Right now in his life, that's where he works at. Okay, and he's going to get out of that. He's going to get out of that real soon, but he believes. This man believes. You might be a Joe Smith Jr., okay? You might be in the gym, and you might be an underdog in the fight. Think of Joe Smith Jr. You might fall to the canvas. You might get hit with a hard shot. Think of Joe Smith Jr. You might have your manager, your promoter, your mama, your daddy, your granddaddy, your grandmama. You might even have your stupid wife. You might have everybody telling you that you can't beat your opponent. You think of Joe Smith Jr. Because Joe Smith Jr., what he's doing right now, he's defying odds. And I'm going to call, I'm not going to call this man Joe Smith Jr. I'm going to call this man Joe Defying Odds Smith. That's what I'm going to call him. Joe Defy the Odds Smith. Because this man, what he does, he goes in, okay, he's going into situations, and he's, ma he's making the best out of his opportunities. That's what he's doing. That's what Joe Smith doing. He's making the best out of his opportunities that he's, that he's provided. This man ain't complaining. This man ain't talking about having a layoff. This man ain't taking a, talking about talking about tune-up fights. This man said, listen, put me in the ring. I want to fight. He not talking about I ain't been in the ring for two years. He not talking about these things. The man said, listen, give me an opponent. I like this, I like this dude, Joe Smith Jr. I like him. I like what he brings to the table. I like how he fights. This man, he don't have the best skill. This man fights with passion. He fights with heart. He's not afraid. He's not afraid. 
He's not afraid to be the underdog. I think he embraces being the underdog. I think he embraces that because he's one of these guys. He's grew up in his whole life where people just never, never really gave him a chance in life. And people only think that he's only going to do as much as he's going to be able to do. He's going to get beat. Tell you what, Joe Smith, keep proving everybody wrong. Keep proving everybody wrong that's picking you to lose, okay? Keep proving them wrong. Dude, it don't matter your background. It don't matter your race. It don't matter who you, it don't matter who you, what you done done in life. It don't matter. Dude, it matters what you do in that ring, and it matters the heart that you put on your sleeve. That's what matters. I like it, man. This dude ain't smelling himself. This dude ain't running. I like Joe Smith Jr. I like him as a fighter. And I hope that he can develop. I hope that he gets with, you know, maybe a good, maybe his trainer is a good trainer. If you got a good trainer, I hope that Joe Smith Jr. don't kick his trainer to the curb. I hope that he does not do that. Okay? I hope he keeps his trainer. I hope he develops his skill set. I hope that this man becomes a complete fighter. Okay? Joe Smith Jr., Coach Shelton Harrison is pulling for you, and that's just the way that is. I'm done. Subscribe.